Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dubim, and we are back here with another episode of everything you need to know about. If this is your first time of watching my ch um, my video, my name is Chidu Bim. You can call me Dubim, and I am a content creator and edutainer, and I help students, you know, with reliable information concerning different Nigerian universities. Yes, so I'm currently a student of Covenant University in my fourth year and yeah it's been going well so um today we're going to be talking about babcock university and um i got some information about the school which i even did not i did not even know about and if you're a fresher this is the video you have to watch if you need to know about babcock university so make sure to like and subscribe and share this video yes so let's go to the intro. So concerning Babcock University, we're going to be starting with the rules. So we all know Babcock University is a university is in Ogun State and is in Nigeria. And I think it is owned by a a church, so it's a Christian based university. So yeah, the rules are going to be as tight, but let's see if it's as tight as Covenant or other other private universities that we've talked about on here. So the first rule is that no earrings, no accessories, no jewelry like chains, bracelets are allowed on both women and like guys, both men and women. So girls are not allowed to wear dangling earrings and all that. So in Babcock University, when you, if you're going to Babcock University, make sure you don't have like dangling earrings in your bag or something because it's not allowed there. So another thing is that there is no PDA. So PDA is public display of affection. So basically you can date, but then there's no any form of public display of affection like kissing, touching and all that in Babcock University is not allowed. So yeah, when it comes to hairs, yeah, as a lady, yeah, long hairs are not allowed. Just short, like, you know, medium length hairs are allowed. Yeah. So another thing I learned about the, uh, um rules is that like concerning dress codes women girls don't wear trousers they only wear skirts and then their corporate is just basically skirts unlike other children that you can wear trousers and you can wear skirts as a lady in babcock university you can wear trousers as a lady yes so um one thing that is most you know prominent about babcock university is that they do not eat meat or chicken but they eat like egg and tofu yeah I've, i don't think i've ever eaten tofu but then yes i've eaten egg so they do not eat meat so if you're planning to go to babcock university better eat all the meat and chicken you want to eat in your house before you go to school because meat and chicken is not allowed here so um one other thing i learned is that if you're entering to school in 100 level they'll give you a handbook so like this handbook is like a um guide to like you know all the rules and regulations in the school so if you're planning to go to Babcock university i guess you'll be able to have that handbook and that handbook would guide you through your stay in Babcock University, yes. So another thing I want to say is if I say Covenant University in between this video, I'm just neglected because I'm a Covenant University student, so like it would always be in my mouth. But if I don't say it, just clap for me because it's not easy. So yes, let's go to the um for the dressing. Another thing is that um chiffon tops are allowed and you can wear native in Babcock University, like natives are allowed. It's not like Covenant University that the only time you can wear this is maybe on Saturdays or maybe doing like you know meetings but you can't wear it to school but then in Babcock University you can wear native for chapel service and all that and you can even wear it to class according to what I heard so you can wear native or corporate in Babcock University so also yeah concerning their chapel service concerning their chapel service another thing you need to know is that their chapel service is wednesdays fridays and saturday so saturdays they are sabbath day so unlike we in covenant university that go to like you know church on sundays back of university they go they have their church on saturday we they consider as the sabbath day yes so um concerning the halls 
um i only got information about the female whores so if you're a female just know that this video is this whole part is going to be for you so there are nine holes and there are three classic holes three premium holes and three regular holes so the holes are diamond hole platinum hole crystal hole havila hole queen esther hole ogden hole nyberg hole fab hole and white hole so apparently yeah diamond crystal diamond platinum and um fad is those are the classic holes then um crystal havila and white are the premium holes well queen esther ogden and nyberg i think i don't know about queen esther but i know ogden and nyberg they're regular holes so in Queen Esther Hall, Queen Esther Hall is basically for the hundred level students and other students in um, classic that other like levels that are going to, that want to stay in that hall. I think I really don't know why, but um, according to what I heard, the Diamond Hall has five people in a room, and the Platinum Hall has four people in a room, and it's quite comfortable. So if you're going for a regular hall, I think it's a lesser price than the classic hall or the premium haul so basically um for um food prices so food prices according to what they told me is that food like it's compulsory to have like a food to pay in the cafeteria for food like while you're paying your school fees so you can pay for two meals a day or three meals a day and it's compulsory so the food prices are basically from 600 to 800 naira. but apart from that there are like other restaurants in the school like the bgh restaurant which i think is babcock guest house restaurant where you can buy food and i had like a plate of it is like 2k and above and there's another restaurant so i can't remember the name but there are two restaurants you can also buy food apart from going to the cafeteria yes so um the food prices like i said is from 600 naira to 800 naira which is quite fair so going to events the events they have according to what they told me is that they have like freshers fair they have concerts they have um drama plays and game games and all of that and then every department like has like a game show or something yes so like it's quite fun in, in babcock university and I, and one other thing i know is that babcock university invites artists to you know come perform unlike covenant university where <laughs> you are not seeing any artists just just accept it yes so you can you know invite um i think they can invite an artist to come and perform which is quite nice i wish they had that in my school but anyhow if wishes were washes if wishes were horses beggars were right on them so like yes so going to school fees basically at every as usual every department has or every course has their you know school fees like allocated to them even before we go to school fees let's talk about the courses that they don't offer so one thing i learned is that Babcock University does not offer environmental science courses like essay management, um, building tech, and architecture. And one other thing, they don't offer engineering courses, yes, and they do not offer pharmacy, and they don't offer psychology. So, but they offer all those other courses like nursing, law, medicine, um, computer science, and all that, and all that, and all that. Yes, so, um, going to the school fees now, um, According to what I was told, um, nursing is between 1.5 to 1.8 million. Um, medicine is 2. Point something million per semester. Um, and like there are some other courses that are 800,000, 900,000 and above. So um, if you want to have like, you know, if you need to get information about the school fees range, you can check on their website for more information yes so um another thing is that they have sporting activities in um babcock university so they have sporting activities that you can you know offer or you can you know participate in yes 
so yeah, guys we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching my video um if i left anything out and you're a babcock university student you can add it in the comments so that people can see it don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and if you want to have an idea about what to wear in um um what you wear in private university corporate wears you wear in private universities you can click on the link in the description box on the video I made about things we wear in Covered at University because they will also guide you to you know having information about that so thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video to everyone you think you know is going to Babcock University next section yes bye guys